Springtime in Wisconsin is a terrific time to do some bird watching. As most birds are fairly afraid of humans, it's important to have a good telescope. This telescope is conveniently attached to a $1,600 single shot Edgun Matador pre-charged automatic 22 caliber air rifle. Here we have the adorable chipping sparrow. Uh, interesting fact, the males actually guard the females as they build the nest, but they don't help build the nest. And consequently, the chipping sparrow's nest is one of the worst constructed nests in the entire bird kingdom. In fact, it's so flimsy you can frequently see light through it. I can say this fun fact without fear because I have looked at the statistics of my videos and only 6% of my viewers are women. And I suspect that a large majority of that 6% could actually just be sexual predators. As you can hear, the Chipping Sparrow song sounds very similar to a 1950s mind control device. Oh look, here's a European starling. Or as they are known in Europe, a starling. I think we all know how I feel about these birds. And here's where I make use of the holder that I have for my telescope. But it's important to load the holder before taking a shot. Did you know that they were actually all descended from only like about 100 birds set loose in New York Central Park like at the, at the end of the 1800s? They were released by a group of people who were enamored with Shakespearean plays. And here's a clincher. It actually took several tries for them to get the population to seed. This guy boogied out of here shortly after this, but lucky for me, he landed in a nearby tree. Give me another shot, albeit I had to do this one offhand. Not my forte. But I'd rather be rich than stupid, and I'd rather be lucky than good. This guy might have looked like he took a glancing blow, but look at this. Yep, exit hole right out the front. Ton of bricks, down for the count. Hey, here's our old friend the barn swallow. One of the best insectivores. If you hate mosquitoes, don't ever even think of doing any damage to these guys. The Barn Swallow's song sounds similar to the wheels on every shopping cart at my local grocery store. Fun fact about Barn Swallows, this guy's a male, and you can see that orange under his throat there. That is what the girlies are attracted to, and there was actually a study on these guys uh, a while back where the researcher captures males with inferior coloration and painted them brilliant orange dark colored and this in fact increased their muchismo to the ladies and they wound up getting mates when they themselves had inferior genes. This same strategy is frequently employed unsuccessfully by frumpy middle-aged men who wear Ed Hardy shirts and skinny jeans to Vegas nightclubs. Here's another starling. This guy's putting on his best courtship display little flappy of the wings and some cackling of the voice. Some people actually like the sound of the starling song. Those same people must also have a true appreciation for poorly composed techno music. Uh, this guy's got to go down, but I'll also let you know that this guy was a total jerk. He grabbed my sister's ass and then looked at me for validation like I was supposed to think it was okay. Oh, and, and here is another starling. Or is it? Yes, I believe it's rule two, maybe rule three. Always be sure of your target and what is beyond. Let's take a closer look at what this bird actually is. Well, it's no starling at all. It's the northern flicker. This bird's in the woodpecker family and is very comfortable up in the trees, but is also equally comfortable on the ground. 
In fact, northern flickers mainly eat insects, especially ants and beetles that they gather from the ground. They'll also eat fruits and seeds and nuts, that kind of stuff, especially in the winter when bugs are at a low. But ants are their prized target. They can be seen smacking away at the ground, kicking up dirt, and drilling after these ants. They have a two inch long tongue they can also use for lapping them up. These things like bugs so much, I've actually seen them picking through dried pig crap to get insect larvae. Oh, and this one actually is an Olympic triple jumper. I'm serious, that's not a joke, watch this. Unfortunately, he only won the silver, so no one actually remembers who he is. Hey, another starling. This guy is quite a ways away. I think he's about 80 or 90 yards, so uh, let's just lob one at him and see what happens here. Oh, over his head. He heard that thing whistle right by. Good thing for us, he's really stupid, and he's only going to jump up to the next bar. Of course, this isn't true. He didn't hear the muzzle blast on my gun. This is yet another benefit of these high-powered pre-charged pneumatic rifles that are shrouded. The birds can't hear the muzzle blast, so as far as they know, a giant mosquito whistled by their head and they have nothing to worry about. I could have never gotten away with this when I was hunting with my 22 long rifle. They'd hear that and be gone. But these shrouded air rifles are so quiet, they offer us a second shot, and this is pretty common actually. Grackles are in absolutely no danger of being extirpated anywhere in the entire continent. And they are the number one eater and demolisher of cornfields. The fact that they forage in massive flocks and that they eat ripening corn as well as corn sprouts means that they have a multi-million dollar impact on our country every single year. And please don't go telling me that there's enough corn and the birds can have their share too. You'd be the same guy that has a fit about pest control and then pops a gasket when he can't find his favorite organic taco shells down at the co-op. They're also total jerks to a lot of other birds. I have actually seen them with my own eyes. Wait for American Robin to pull up a worm out of the ground and then smack him on the head and take his worm. They raid nests, they kill and eat other adult birds, but alas, they are a protected bird, so I stay my finger until the powers that be come to their senses. One more starling. Oh, this guy's behind another big stick. But do you remember me hitting that crow? I shot right through that stick, didn't I? So with my confidence at an all-time high when it comes to shooting through sticks with pellet guns, I go ahead and I take this shot and miss entirely. Okay, so my pellet gun is not magic and I can't hit any bird I want to through a stick. Let's slow this down a second and watch that pellet zing right on off there to the left. And this bird gets away as most do whenever there's a stick in front of your line of sight. It's too bad too, this bird was actually wanted for insurance fraud. Alrighty, we'll take a one or two week intermission here. I gotta reload my pellet holder. And we'll come back with some more fun facts about other common birds around the United States. Such as the brown-headed cowbird, the red-winged blackbird, and the double-breasted mattress basher. Until then, you guys take it easy. We'll see you next time.